with more than 17,000 people stuck at home recovering from COVID-19. A team of volunteers is trying to make a difference. Now, the group of about 60 people, mostly professionals, helps out by sending them supplies. Now, they've seen their ranks swell by six times just a month since starting. Sun Wei Lin speaks to several of them. Jesslyn Lam won't be needing these groceries. The sales director is shopping for a family who can't go to a supermarket because they're isolating at home. So far, she has done 12 trips in the last three weeks before and after work, sending supplies to different households, each taking less than 30 minutes. Mrs Lam helps out in the SGQO Groceries Volunteer Group, so she doesn't get paid for her time and effort, but is reimbursed through pay now. The support group is a spin-off from a larger Telegram chat group where people can ask and answer questions about COVID-19. Most messages are to clarify protocols, but there are people who say that they need help with food. That's when the volunteers decided to step in. When I joined the Telegram groups on you know, the QO quarantine support, um, I do see that many of them are pretty much, you know, live in the lurch on, you know, where to find support. Then that is something that I could make a little contributions, which, uh, which I, I don't think it's a lot, but, you know, just try to, you know, to contribute my little part. The group buys anything from diapers to prayer incense. A volunteer leader coordinates requests and gets about three a day. I will first try to gather information like what is the situation like right now and will they need further assistance like meal deliveries on top of groceries. Sometimes we do receive requests from people who are in quarantine and they need groceries to be delivered to their parents or parents-in-law instead of their own self. Volunteers around the island are assigned to those closest to them. Already, they have done 70 deliveries in just one month to more than 30 families. They sometimes go the extra mile for those less privileged, including a mom whose son tested positive. When we understand that her boy is actually a special needs boy, we felt a lot for her because income was disrupted. So our volunteers actually came up with funds from our own uh, pocket and we actually delivered food groceries to her to help her defray some stress. The group is hoping to get more volunteers and extend their network.